further into the China's fight against pollution, I spoke with Jennifer Turner, the director of China Environment Forum at the Woodrow Wilson Center here in Washington, D.C., and I asked her what these new pollution policies mean for China's industries. There are a lot of things on the books. I mean, last year, China amended their environmental pollution law, and in that, I mean, they, there are fines now. Instead of just one-off fines, it's like, you know, give you a little kiss and, and away you would go. Now there are, are fines that are going to grow day by day if an industry doesn't stop the pollution. And there's also requirements that local officials now are going to be evaluated on their environmental performance as opposed to just economic performance. And that if you, if you don't meet your environmental performance, you know, maybe you don't get a promotion. And there's a potential, too, of now of court cases in public interest law cases where environmental NGOs can bring a case in the public interest if there's a pollution. So it doesn't have to necessarily know, oh, this is how much pollution this one industry did, and it hurt me. It's public interest. Let me ask you about this. Uh, last year, this groundbreaking agreement between China and the United States. Uh, first of all, what does it entail? And secondly, the legislative bodies now meeting in Beijing, what role do they play in all of this? Well, I mean, the big news last year with, on the China side of the agreement was that they, they came out with an actual date. They said, well, they said 2030, we're going to cap coal. So it's going to be a peak, a Himalayan peak, perhaps, but they will peak coal. And then right afterwards, a lot of experts in my network said it'll be before then. Now, the the state, the state council is probably going to be the one that's just going to continue issuing decisions on this. The National People's Congress probably won't weigh in except maybe in a smaller committee. But we'll see that the state council is probably going to have another big decision. The 13th five-year plan, that's going to be another, maybe we'll say, an iron hand again, putting out specific targets for the reduction of coal. And then there's going to be a revisions of the Air Pollution Control Act, which, since coal is one of the main sources, that's, so it's kind of, maybe, shall we say, a one-two punch. It's interesting, though. Energy experts that I talk to say that it's always great for politicians to set targets because they don't really have to meet them. Somebody else does. And, and it's pretty difficult to do. When you look at China and the amount of people and then the, the drain on energy um, and you look at coal, it's kind of the, the backbone. How do you get there? Well, I mean, last year, for the first time in decades, China, they dropped coal use by about 2%. And that, and that they've set a lot of institutions in place and investments. I mean, they're number one in installing wind power. Re solar PV panels are going up like gangbusters. And, and so they have, they, there's all these kind of institutions already to help push forward an alternative to coal. And also um, natural gas. I mean, they've been building up the infrastructure, importing, developing their own natural gas. But probably the biggest hope, shall we say, for, for you know, as a game changer for coal, it's, it's not maybe as sexy as these others, but energy efficiency. I mean, the 11th and 12th five-year plan, they made great strides, right? But it was probably low-hanging fruit of becoming, of lowering the energy intensity in the country. But there's a lot more that can be done. I mean, the, their industry, their buildings, still very energy inefficient. But there are also a lot of international organizations working on them in this. Even California, the state of California is a partnership with, with Jiangsu Province to work on energy efficiency. Natural Resources Defense Council, Energy Foundation are working on buildings. And so, you know, I think there's, there's a lot of potential to really ramp up efficiency.